Hey, hello again, everybody. I am here to teach you what RPA can do for you, but using a live example. Okay. RPA is a very versatile tool and it's not at all limited to finance. I've used it in healthcare, I've used it in different industries, manufacturing, but I'm going to be using a um, finance example. The problem definition is that this software, which I'm opening now, is a very good software, but uh, it doesn't do everything. And I'll show you what I mean. This is an, a, a cryptocurrency portfolio here, you know, there's Ethereum, there's Bitcoin, there's, you know, whatever, different stocks. If I wanted to update the price for today to find out, oh, how much is this portfolio worth today? I would just click, right click on this, retrieve historical prices, say okay. And the software will go to the internet, pull the prices and update them on its own, okay? Just one click. As a matter of fact, um, sometimes it will prompt you that, hey, it's time to, to do that. Do you want to do it? So it's very good in certain areas, such as in the dollar markets. But this portfolio is not in the dollar market. So, you know, you, you have to enter the prices manually. So, for example, I would have to do that by doing this. And then... I made all the prices one 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 uh, Nigerian naira, so you can see that I have done nothing to it right right at this point. So I would have to change this to say five, and this one you know whatever the price is two, three whatever three twenty the price is you know which is really very tedious, uh, an inefficient way to do things. But the software wasn't built for this purpose. Okay, so that's a typical problem you will have with, it, with softwares you buy off the shelf. They won't solve all your problems. They can do some things really good, but you have these, you know, off, off tangent problems that, you know, I guess the provider wouldn't have thought of, you know. So I've made a few changes just to illustrate the problem. I have to do this every day if I want to be on top of what is in this portfolio, for example. That's not realistic. For me to be doing that every day will take quite a bit of time, as you can imagine, because there are a lot of stocks here. So I'm going to close it now, and I'm just going to show you um, a brief summary of what my robot is going to do. It's going to go to the to the to the website of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. It's going to scrape the entire screen. I don't know if I can show you. Let me see. Instead of just talking over, let me try and show you. Um, so I think it's NGX something here. Um, so it's going to come here. It doesn't open to the exact place. Uh, it's going to it's going to have to show all stocks. It's going to have to copy all of this. If you notice, it has some BLS, MRF, and all that stuff. It's going to have to remove all the junk, copy everything to Excel, and then from Excel, uh, basically, uh, so I'm just, I have it written down there, script the entire screen, copy the screen's contents to Excel, remove the junk, save it to a new Excel workbook or worksheet, then open this software that I just showed you, uh, and then begin to update, well, there are different portfolios in the software, so it's going to open the one that needs to be updated, and then lastly, it's going to enter all the prices for today, you know, into the portfolio and update it. So after it's done, it finishes, but then you can program the robot to just maybe say at 6 p.m. every day, do the same thing. You know, you can do that. So I'm just going to show you like an illustration of how it works. All I have to do now is just hit the run button and all of that stuff that I've been yakking about is going to happen. Um, I wonder if I can find some music to play for you while this is happening because all you have to do is grab uh, a coffee when this guy is working, you know. So let's see if I can find you something to listen to while you're watching the robot work.
So as you can see, it's uh, it's moving ahead very quickly. It's done. It's done all the copying to Excel. It's done all that in a fraction of <laughs> in a very little time. You know. So those are some serious time savings. If you had a human being doing that, it would be like <laughs> it would take forever. You know. And then you have to copy and paste, and it's just a long, long, long story. And plus, there's, there's the issue of uh, human error. Maybe the person gets distracted, and you know, it's just uh, human beings. You know, we make mistakes. That's all. So let's listen to music while we watch this work. It's only going to take a few minutes. <laughs> here it took about three minutes and 23 seconds to do all of that now um, it can work much faster than that um, if I do some tweaking but the objective is not to uh, um, show you how fast how it can work fastest but to show it what it's capable of show you what it's capable of doing um, I hope you know that's something that gets your imagination moving so for some people this is a real problem um, but for others you know you have to think of other ways that it can help you but the point is you can delegate stuff to these things to do it and they won't make make mistakes they'll do it faster they'll do it better and um please uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and um you know give me some feedback about your thoughts on all of this after you're done watching this. Thanks. Have a nice day.